Our next speaker is Lee Bevington, who's going to speak on scientific ethics and outdoor education. What kind of scientists are we producing? I have a colleague who has a PhD. The only time she had to grapple with ethics was when her supervisor put an ethics form in front of her and said, this is just a formality, sign here. Her PhD was in stem cell biology. What kind of scientists are we producing? I teach an advanced cell biology lab where students do cell culture experiments requiring the use of FBS, fetal bovine serum. This serum is extracted from the living hearts of fetal calves. Students are never told how this serum is acquired, and they're certainly not given any choice whether to use it or not. What kind of scientists are we producing when students can complete degrees, entire PhDs, without once grappling with such critical questions as, why am I doing this, or should I be doing this? My research proposes changes to university science curricula that uses arts-based outdoor learning to promote a shift from a lab-based anthropocentric worldview to an ecocentric one. Three things that can help with this. One, getting learners outside. Two, remarrying science and philosophy. And three, having ethics be part of the conversation from the very start. Part of the problem is something called ontological reversal. This is where a model or symbol takes on more importance than the actual phenomenon under study. For example, when I teach my students photosynthesis, I will tell them about six carbon uh, sugars, electron transport chains, and all the atomistic necessities that make possible this miraculous process that converts light into life. But rarely will students hold an actual leaf in their hand. This creates a disconnect from nature. Gertian science, which is artistic, holistic, and participatory in its approach, offers a way to bridge this gap. In my research, I co-create collaborative outdoor learning environments. I'm an instructor for KPU's Amazon Field School. I teach ecology students in the field. And I've also developed a new course, Creativity, Ecology, and Nature Experience. In teaching these courses, I can document learner experience through journaling, narrative, poetry, field work, as part of student assignments and use this data to inform my philosophical framework outlining an alternative paradigm for university science education. With climate change, oil pipelines, and environmental catastrophes popping headlines daily, a marriage of science and philosophy has the power and potential to bring about real change in how students learn science. So that when we ask the question, what kind of scientists are we producing? We can say ethical and eco-literate scientists. Thank you.